Hello guys and welcome back to Play in the J. Um, I'm here with Newbie and we're about to get ready for the next round here. And we've had two exciting games so far, haven't we? Yeah, definitely two very exciting games. And of course, uh, having the first game taken by the uh, team order and the second game by uh, Gay, sorry, Goal Army Factory. So as you can see, the first game in the wrangle or the circle was, I mean, the flight path was more from the Zaki to all the way to south. And now it's a, basically the total opposite. And now it'll be quite interesting to see how the teams will be playing out for this angle of the map in a wrangle. Absolutely. And already we're seeing slightly different patterns. Uh, okay, FFG, we're still seeing them drop out fairly early here, just trying to get in as much looting time as possible, regardless of which part of the map that the early flight is on. But not many other teams going for it. Kameshki is quite one of those niche places where it just doesn't support a lot of teams. But here's a change for seeing a couple teams going for Yasnaya. Yep, Yasnaya. You have two different teams on Yasnaya, mostly landing in the top north part of Yasnaya. And you can see the, the uh, team order very widely spread through the whole and area around Mansion. You see Gold Army Factory and more on uh, Lenovo. Is it uh, Lenovo? Lipovka. Yeah. Lipovka. Lipovka. Oh, <laughs> Lenovo. Oh, well, Lenovo also can, you know, <laughs> but uh, I think that's in a future map update. We haven't had it yet. Probably going to be due for that uh, yep. un undisclosed amount of time. Oh, and definitely you see the circle down at the military base. Nobody has actually flew over to the end. And save a uh, Cyan Savior uh, having an early kill on group ball, a uh, good boy. And Viper finishing off Fico from Zero Gravity. I think this is a pretty early kills, and there's a lot of actions that's happening right now. Trading kills and oh Yun Jang on Splinter finishing off Splinter with the beautiful hate shot with the mini 14 Savior too, getting his own kills on the other end of the map. Yeah, so a few of early altercations here that we didn't see happen in some of the early rounds. I think it was quite sparingly that there were some of these issues here, but looks like some early kills on the board. We are going to be seeing awesome for some, getting their first through savior here. And uh, there's still going to be the other players from Zero Gravity going to be hanging around. t how currently going to be um, in between Wolf FPV right now, and he's going to have to make do with the situation, but looks like he can't get out of the way here and Bullet L here. Going to be able to catch him out and i think that's going to be uh not a, the best start that zero gravity would have liked they're going to be down two players here early on yep uh definitely you can see that the farm area is uh, populated with many different teams and uh wolf finishing off tea towel from zero gravity uh the teams are Gonna be a little bit upset with the, uh, the amount of members of teams. Oh, and Hughes, Hughes Dude. getting a beautiful kill Dude. on two of the uh, MIBN team members. Yun Jiang is down. Yeah, it looks like that here in uh, Fuka, he's going to town, and it looks like he's gonna finish off two of the players there. Raven goes down as well. Best get wrecked, gonna be eliminated, but maybe it's time. Here. He's going to be able to come in here, and uh, I'm not sure if he's really going to be able to achieve that much besides getting revenge. Three of the players here for uh, his team, MIBN, have gone down here again. Yuxi going to be um, reaping the benefits slightly here, and hopefully uh, Jakowski here and um, Jen Joker can come in and save. But Jen Joker coming out in the open, but maybe the try too close to the windowsill, but he's able to back up in time here and get the headshot on to get Joker. Beautiful play by maybe this time. Knowing that someone is coming into his building, he jump off the building, jump off the building, knowing that someone is on top. And of course, uh ja ba ja, 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 Jakovsky knew that he jumped off the building, trying to rotate, find out where he is. Uh, definitely a risk factor for him to be playing. Uh for you know, trying to get off the building and everything. Uh but Ooh, he's playing by the window. For the time being, you can see uh, the remaining rest of the teams are slowly rotating into the military base. Uh, definitely can see Triple uh, X Gaming first on the bridge. Uh, definitely hearing that a couple of the members from Team AWM also coming into the bridge. Yeah, it looks like uh, AWM going to lead the way with Mandy here first as uh, the others are taking 
a little bit of fire in the farmland region currently. There's going to be some shots from zero gravity coming out here as well. And we have to see whether awesome for some here. Going to be wanting to take a lot of these long range shots there onto the rotation coming out from AWM. And it looks as though they're going very close to the beach here. And they might actually be looking for a boat. And it might be the detriment that they actually get on Johnny Walker's purpose. Taking quite a few hits. Savior going to be moving in to see what he can do. He's going to have a lot of cover. Beautiful play by Awesome Awesome. Yeah, awesome for awesome for some here. Really coming out big and uh, gonna be getting a nice little bit of loot here. And looks like Nandy here goes all by himself. I'm not sure why they didn't follow. Nandy was able to get across the bridge here. There wasn't gonna be a bridge camp from Triple X Gaming. So we're gonna have to see how other teams are gonna maneuver around. Steve City and Fighter moving down, as is gonna be. The players on Osmo coming here very close to 5CZ. Yep, and definitely can see that the Team Stadium Fighters playing a little bit more safer. Uh, getting on a boat, heading over to uh, Novo. And of course, Triple S Gaming, the prime position by the bridge. Perhaps gatekeeping whoever is going to be rotating into military base. And you can see the... Uh, Google Google X God and his team members are also crossing the other side of the bridge, making it uh, one of the first few teams on the opposite side of the military base. Uh, Stadium Fighter doing some very uh, interesting rotation into uh, the island, whereas uh, you can see Team Seven, the awesome foursome guys, uh, pretty much I think they spotted uh, Stadium, Stadium Fighter on the other side of the island. Yeah, and it looks as though they are also having a similar idea here, but they might be spotted out by Stadium Fighter here if they're not careful. Jinkalero and Dini X really going to go and beach the boat here. And it looks like Science Savior and the rest of uh, the players from Awesome Foursome here going to be moving in and see whether or not that they can get into a good position here. They are moving far away enough, but uh, they're still going to attract quite a bit of attention here from Dini and the rest of Dini. Ooh, getting some beautiful shots there. It hitting uh, one of the members from Awesome, Team Awesome, uh, but they managed to safely land by the beach. Uh, Stadium Fighters getting a, a pretty good position at a corner of the island there. Uh, minimize. Wow, minimize. Facing some issues here. Close quarter yeah. combat together with uh, Team's TMA here. And looks like Grim Gaming gonna <laughs> lose one of their players, but they only had one here at the moment, and uh, they're gonna have to accept the consequences for that now most of the other teams here have all, have been on their way ffg seemingly have been looting it on the Kameshki side since the two rounds ago so they're still going on over there as others are on the move we see order our winners from round number one starting to move towards the eastern bridge here for the time being in fight having spotted out uh, furnace here and uh, the rest of zero gravity but for the most part here i think they are still going to be just uh, minding their time here. I think Sun is also going to be inside. They do want to just protect their vehicle just a little bit here. And not going to be in a huge rush to get in. Joxy going to be moving in a little bit north of the gas station here. See whether or not he can get some flanking shots there. He's going to have that nice ridge to work with here. And might be able to get a little bit of a pick. Yep, uh, meantime, we missed out the fight from Captain from Team 16, Legendary V2, taking out most of the FFG players, uh, leaving FFG Ibor alone, uh, coming in from the outside the circle, rotating into the corner of the Primos. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, we, uh, the PUBG games are quite chaotic, and so I apologize, not able to cover everything there. But yeah, it looks as though that FFG Gold will be able to continue onwards here. But now it's just going to be Zero Gravity trying to fend off this push coming out from Team Order. But there are some angles being covered on all sides. Ferns this here has got nowhere to go and uh, just going to be in a very difficult spot. Joxy can actually toss the nade up over here and uh, ooh, looks like uh, Ferns this here going to be avoiding taking too much damage there. Blood really is going to continue putting the pressure on. Uh, Kikamuchao <laughs> is moving in for the kill. Yep, beautiful neat toss there by Mukao. Let's call him Mukao for tonight, Mukau, okay? Mukau. Yeah, let's call him Mukao. Beautiful neat yet uh, toss into the uh, back of the patrol station. He's looking for the remaining rest of the remaining team. The smoke's beautiful cover, beautifully covered, 
covering. Oh my god, covering the, his the, himself. So the uh, Mukal can't really spot him yet. Uh, smoke clearing out. You see Joycey. Oh, and there you go. Joxy taking out Francis, uh, finishing off the uh, patrol team. Patrol team. Pula. Okay. The no, basically <laughs> zero. zero fini yeah. Oh. Finish. <laughs> shows you zero gravity. Our Orul Orul Bulov managed to finish off Renzera at the time for the time being as the team from. Uh, so team from Asbol are rotating in to the lower end of the military base. Yeah, just taking a little bit of pressure there from 5CZ. They're just going to be putting a lot of uh, shots onto the late rotations. And Escort Rex going to be actually flipping his car a little bit, but able to right the vehicle just in time here. But it might give them a little bit of time here to try and get a couple more connections here. The rest of uh, us will have already managed to make their way over, but they did lose one of their players. I think Vayne Zera got taken out a little bit early on. <laughs> And the rest of TMA were able to take out one of Grim Gaming earlier on. is facing up against Team Fury. They've had to abandon their vehicle here. And uh, just going to be trying to fend off further pressure coming out from these four players. But it's four against three right now. And they're going to have to play this one a little bit careful. Currently a little bit on the narrow side and not spreading the field. Yep, definitely. As you can see, more teams are trying to rotate into military base. Uh, Lako getting a very beautiful hit shot with, with, on Organic. And now it looks like Beast Official trying to move over there and see whether or not he could do anything to save his teammate. But Organic gets finished off in quick fashion there. And now Luko going to get the first kill on the board there for Team Fury. And now Noob Noob is going to be under a little bit of pressure there. As uh, now the Blue Zone is starting to encompass all of these players. So it's not really a great spot for both of these teams. They got entangled in a fight and got mm -hmm. no way to get onto the... Um, a speedy rotation going here and really just both teams not going to be ending up too well here I suspect yep and you can see this official uh, taking down Lapo you know, managing to find one of the mirror. No, he did not manage to find one of the three members uh, big boy Maka managed to kill off the remaining team from team TMA so now we have to figure out, you know, how they're going to be rotating into the circle as they are still very far off yeah. uh, the circle. You know, they're still in the blue zone. So yeah. not only that, they have to still cross over that huge body of water. And then the next circle is already starting to make them tank a lot of damage here. We're seeing that others are coming in late here. I think we do have uh, Team 18 is now Team Pathogen. Um, in the first two rounds, it was Bait Team. But now we have Team Pathogen making a very late rotation coming in using that eastern bridge to Sosnovka Island. But now everyone else is on the move. We see Triple X Gaming moving in from the command structure over here next to the mountain at the moment. And uh, right now in, in military base itself, we can see Stadium Fighter together with some of the, uh, the others. But the fight is going on outside here on the southeastern corner of the island where we do have two going at it. Yep, and you see Joxy taking down K-Bytes. Uh, a little bit of a slow rotation from K-Bytes. I'm pretty sure that his, the remaining rest of his team were about to rotate back more center to the circle. Unfortunately, K-Bytes got taken down by Joxy. Uh, Mukao finishing him off K-Bytes. And the remaining of s team are heading towards the goal army factory compound. Getting shot by... Getting shot at... And they are trying to find proper cover. That's correct, some blade got taken down by the Gold Army Factory members. And that will be all for the Asbol team for this round. So Asbol unfortunately not able to get into the high placings that they managed to get in the previous round. So they got taken out after facing pressure from two of the teams here on the southern side of this new circle. But now they're going to have to see how these other teams are going to be shaping up here and take their spot in the top five. So now it looks like we're going to have the players here from Stadium Fighter putting pressure on to Triple X Gaming. They are starting to come in. Uh, from the hangers there, but they're going to be a little bit pinned here. But of course, given the that they are already inside the circle, they got the time to work with here and make things happen just a little bit. But uh, for the most part, I think they can really just try and preserve some of their equipment. Now, something that we haven't really talked about this evening is uh, how in competitive play, everyone does want to try and manage their equipment. They don't want to take so much damage if they can avoid it. 
is uh, it de really depends where they're fighting. If it's like San Martin in the last round, you can probably get a new helmet or vest, you know. But you're mm -hmm. probably gonna want to try and manage how many fights you do get involved in. Yep. Um, and also the fact that um, the early game phase to the middle middle game phase, uh, you know, having proper equipment definitely increase the survivability in the game. Uh, and also, you know, your rotations into the, your rotations into the circle is equally as essential as your equipment. So um, as you can see, that everyone is getting cluttered up in the military base right now, and you can um, definitely see. Definitely, you have a lot of uh, co uh, ample covers you can find, but you know it's all kind of like uh, the luck basis kind of thing. Absolutely, especially as we see the next circle here, it is going to be part pretty much like half and half over military base. And this really just a lot of open space. So we're going to see a lot of teams pile in along this fence line here and use that concrete as best as they can. Flood coming mm. in here, try and get inside up here while they try and use that line there wherever they have all the broken aircraft and see what they can do in terms of uh, preventing other teams from moving into similar positions. Yeah, uh, but definitely I would say that uh, being in the aircraft segment of the military base is kind of a bit uh, open to the rest. The only cover that you have is a couple of broken aircraft plus the burial fans that you have. Uh, but ideally, they are still in the circle. Definitely, that's what you want to. You know, that's where you want to be in to avoid you know uh, getting pressured from the push of the uh, the blue zone. Uh, you can see that uh, G7 official with his teammate moving into the the airplane, the broken airplanes area, closing in. She's Sorry, I, I'm, there's just a little bit of lag here at the moment. I do apologize for that. As, uh, we're facing these little bits of technical difficulties here, but we're seeing in slow motion or at one frame <laughs> per second that we're having the players from Grim Gaming facing off against uh, Allegiant Gaming right now. And it looks like uh, the Allegiant Gaming player is coming out on top still. Going to be the last oh. one left alive here. And he takes out Aurox here as well. So um, again, I apologize. Believe me, it is as slow as it is for <laughs> me that it is for, for you guys. And uh, hopefully we can um, reduce the lag there. I don't know if you saw it spike up. Uh, looks as though that we might have recovered here. Yep. Okay. Finally, we have recovered <laughs> over um, recovered over the lag. So uh, you can see that uh, team team order is rotating in. Notices the team 16 legendary V2 behind the airplanes and definitely fl a flood takes down G7 official. Beautiful shot there. Even though there was smoke to, for a cover. Udin taking down one of the FFG Afpen. FFG Yong taking down Udin. Errol taking down Yong. They're all moving all out taking out Errol. the factory complex and it's absolutely chaos right here. Adini the Q feet. Trying to get up his teammate Jikaleva trying to do the same but just really not having a lot of options. Uh, Udin already going to be almost bleeding out there. And uh, now it looks like there's only going to be one player left out. Uh, and it's going to be Fallout, and he's actually going to be bugging out here as he wants to try and preserve these placement points. But he's going to really allow the reset there from Stadium Fighter. They're going to get all their players and get their heals off. Dini starting to move in here, trying to see can he put the finishing touches on. Only fire maybe, and it looks like Jinkalewa going to come in and give that helping hand. Beautiful shot there by Jinkalewa, taking out uh, Team FFG. So you can see that basically Stadium Fighters do stronghold the position and the military base itself. One of the big factories. Uh, definitely uh, for me, I uh, think it's quite difficult to cover from all the angles that you can come in from. Uh, you can see Fury getting taken out by the blue zone. And uh, the circle just closes in more to the hangar side of the map. Yeah, so now this is going to be good for the team members of Triple X Gaming here. They do have a 2 2 split going on. They can effectively cover each other, and everyone else here on the western side really going at it. And uh, as we see 5CZ here, uh, able to make some space for them. So they got the team order right in front of them that they have to worry about. Gold Army Factory actually going to be making their way over here. Yep, and you can definitely see that their team order is having a little bit of a tough time getting uh, pincered by many teams that actually notices them. Uh, however, they are rotating into the circle. 
uh, with Inside and Joxy covering their teammates back, and Joxy taking down Endeavor. Yeah, so it looks like Flood and Muchao here are gonna try and make some cover here in that little bit of defilade, and they. Uh, well, that's hardly a defilade at all. But, anyways, uh, <laughs> we have the car there that's definitely gonna be essential, parking it uh, perpendicular to the fence there, and uh, later on you're gonna see them probably blowing it up, get as much cover as they can. Stadium Fighter having reset after taking out of friendly fire gaming just a little bit early on as now there's going to be a lot of space trying to be generated by order at the moment. They take down one of the Fury players but the kill is stolen there by KMF1 and now the other two Fury players are going to be trying to use that lull trying to get inside here and see if they can get ahead of the curve. Bullet L going to be taking oh. some fire as well by Flood. Big boy Mucka ramming into dreams. Absolutely awesome right there as we're seeing how things should be done in a post-apocalyptic wasteland that we do see here in the way. So looks like order here gonna come up big. They take wipe out all of the players there. Uh, coming up from the western side here. So five five C's out here. Gonna be eliminated here. And big boy matcha here coming big as he gets another kill on the board. Six so far here. For Team Fury, they're having a great round number three here. Came up one will be knocked down nine holy. And uh, we're going to have uh, Anichi in trying to see whether or not they can get KMF1 back up here. They have to move a little bit more. Blue Zone is on their tails. They don't have a lot of space to work with here as Arnie is going to be the two Fury players going to be laying the smackdown onto them. Yep, and you can see Big Boy Maka rotating in to the game. Sorry, the Gold Army Factory. Big Maka throwing down the Nate, making sure he finishes off one of the team members from uh, Gold Army Factory, taking down KMF and Holy. And of course, he finishes off the last member of Gold Army Factory, Shaniza. Big Boy Maka picking up three kills there, and uh, despite in spite of the smoke that was there, so uh, good play from him. Uh, able to get the lucky shots there through the smoke, but now it looks like they're under pressure coming in from Team Pathogen on the high ground. They can take their time, and it looks like just barely we're having Triple X Gaming still kind of inside the zone here, but other teams under pressure. We're going to see Awesome Foursome here moving in and uh, losing Wolf FPV just from the fire coming in there from Flood. Yeah, definitely. You can see uh, uh, Steam, Team Stadium Fighter uh, basically notices uh, Team a gentleman's club that's around their uh, factory that uh, definitely uh, paying a little close attention to uh, the surroundings and of course you can see that uh, Poco is it Poco his name is Poco is Poco proud okay he's hiding at the corner of the factory so I, I do not know whether the stadium fighter members know that he is there and of course, you can see Team Pathogen slowly ro rotating into the circle, not noticing that uh, Triple X Gaming is just right underneath them. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. They have a good spot here, but uh, they're going to have to just be a little bit mindful that they don't get um, surprised by Triple X Gaming. But I think for the most part, they're probably going to be okay with how things are going here. As uh, I'm not able to land a Car 98 shot there on he said what? So probably just going to buy their time and really catch them a little bit unawares. As currently they do need to move out from this mound. The blue zone is going to start pushing them a little bit further forward and they're not going to have a lot of space to work with. Uh, Blue Cow getting a big shot on Big Boy Maka. Woods finishing off. Oh, what a chaos by Woods. <laughs> oh, wow. And uh, Woods able to pick one out of, from there at Fury's expense here. As uh, now we're seeing Mukau here trying to get Flood up here for Team Order. As we're seeing Stadium Fighter very happy to stay in the control tower. Uji going to be hanging up inside the, the factory as uh, Prow is still going to be just inside the zone. Very happy to stay there for the time being, but uh, Luko here um, still in it with a little bit of luck, but just ran out. Yep, and there goes uh, Team Fury, but beautiful plays from Big Ma Boy Maka uh, from the early on. And you can see he say, he say what? is taking pretty good shots on team member, uh, sorry, uh, team one of the team order, uh, team members from order. Uh, taking out Mukau, leaving two, three of his teammates at the corner of defense from military base. Uh, Insane Floyd adding on the pressure to the order. However, the, the, the stadium fighter uh, kind of notices the Insane Floyd is still at, around the corner there. Uh, and you can see Pathogen 
doing a pretty good rotation in the corner of the map and definitely the circle closes in. This is definitely in a very good favor for Team Stadium Fighter. Udin being the team player of the game, basically staying back, making sure that nobody backstabs his teammates. Uh, Insane Floyd taking down taking down inside of Vasily, taking down Flood. Team Order is in a very huge pressure right now. And Udin being the team member of the team, taking down Prow. And there goes team number 14. Gentleman's Club out of the game for now. So insane Floyd, insane Floyd, he's doing so much pressure for on team order. He only has one left here, he's really taking quite a pounding there, he's already lost two of his team members just then uh, due to the excessive pressure as currently there's just not much ways that he can actually get there without facing off against the entire uh, team pathogen. Yep, definitely. And now we have to see how Putin is going to be uh, joining the remaining rest of his teammate up. Uh, of course, Triple X Gaming getting a lot of huge pressures from Pathogen. And here's the MY, beautiful shot on e what Chloe finishing about. It looks as though that uh, now it, it looks as though that things are coming apart here for Team Pathogen. Vasily getting taken down. Um, I think it was with Summer with the nice headshot there, and then we did see one of them try to push into the hangar, but unfortunately not having enough backup. All a little bit disjointed there. So now Wood's going to be the last player left up. And he's going to rip Joxy and Neil one there with the M249. As now we are down to three teams. Yep, definitely, because as you can see that uh, earlier one of the last members from uh, Order taking out Insane Floyd. Unfortunately, Insane Floyd couldn't make it to the circle. Uh, you can see that the uh, Team Fighters spotted out Triple X Gaming. Woods adding on the pressure to Triple X Gaming. So we'll have to see how Woods is going to be coming into the circle, getting good cover. Uh, hopefully Team Stadium Fighter did not spot him. But, but beautiful it, shot by Udin on Chloe Kill with his money mini 14. Yeah, so now looks like Stadium Fighter is in a very strong position here. They have managed to take down two of the players there from Triple X Gaming. And now it looks like I'm Cold Blood and uh, Zummer here. Gonna have to try and do what they can. Woods has already found this spot here. I think he's just waiting to see if anyone else is coming here. He does have Ooh. a little, little bit of a ghillie suit camouflage going beautiful. on Beautiful. Yeah, dude. He, I mean, like, having the advantage of a ghillie suit adds on the element of surprise for the members. But uh, however, if he's gonna continue, you know, um, shooting, he's gonna definitely reveal his position. However, uh, the Team Triple X Gaming, definitely, they are having a lot of pressure from Team Stadium Fighter. Of course, because um, uh, Team Stadium Fighter has already noticed them since the early uh, phase of the circle. KV Fire is out from Fini, finishing off all the members from Triple X Gaming. So now leaving two teams left, Stadium Fighter versus Team Fathogen, the brand new team that just recently joined in the third game of the Scream for tonight. Woods definitely have to figure out how is he going to handle the, the last three remaining members of Stadium Fighters. Four members, sorry. Four members of uh, Stadium Fighters. Uh, definitely, uh, Errol has spotted him. Jiggle him by, by Woods. Pretty good shot there by Woods. That machine gun, the massive machine gun, the monster machine gun. Oh. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Carrying him a new one. But it looks like now the. Moving out here, Woods trying to do the best he can. He got the pick. Ooh, the knees! Ooh. <laughs> he has to heal, he has to reload. Doesn't... And the heal! Oh dear. So it took a, a little bit of a big one here, but he could still come out with it. There's still a lot of distance here between him and the rest of Stadium Fighter, and he can still hold this one away. But, oh, he takes another big hit there, and now this is taking quite a few hits. Oh! And it looks like Udin is going to be able to seal it there for Stadium Fighter and able to come out with it. And a nice dominating performance towards the end there after yep. the, the players of Stadium Fighter able to control things from the control tower. <laughs> yeah, so definitely. Udin, but you have, you have to say, dude, but you have mm. to say Woods, Woods put out an excellent show for from Team Pathogen, you know, because the, the amount of pressure that he puts on to different teams during the fights, the circle, the rotations in to the circle, he is dominating with his uh, MG1, is it, what's the name again? MG249. 
MG249, yeah. M249. M249, okay. You've been I've lost too, You've been playing too much uh, World War II games. There's no <laughs> MG42 here, bro. <laughs> yeah, but the pressure here, you know, from Woods is crazy, you know, and the way the way he handles the one v four uh situation, you know, is pretty good. But uh, however, uh, Team Stadium Fighters definitely have the, the the manpower, definitely have the the, the rotation in the covers. Uh, unfortunately, Jake Lewa got taken out earlier, but with his uh, the way he's gonna report it, the way he's gonna say that uh, where Woods is gonna be at the. Uh, you know everything is gonna be fall, uh, and it uh, goes to leaning more. Sorry, sorry, leaning more to the benefit of uh, Stadium Fighter. So kudos to uh, Team Stadium Fighters. Burvio played seven kills on Udin. Uh, total amount, total amount of numbers of eleven kills for the the chicken dinner team, and uh, kudos to Team Pathogen as well for making it to the second place. Absolutely, and then of course we did have uh, Triple X Gaming coming in third. They had the two-two split going on there, and it was working well for them. And then we have Team Order, our winners from round number one, coming in fourth place. Joxy leading the way with five kills there, and in fifth position, we are going to have the players there from Awesome Foursome able to get into the top five and strut their stuff with Insane Floyd getting four kills in the back. So guys, that is it for round number three of the evening. We have one more round to be played here on Miramar so no newbie and I are going to be taking a short break here and when we return we're going to be bringing you round number four thank you very much